Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the national championship game. Mississippi State ranked number one in the nation, taking on the number three Central Florida Knights. And this is going to be an exciting game. It is action packed. The game will start at the 8.54 mark in the video. So if you guys want to skip ahead to that, that's fine. But before that, we are going to go over their stats. You see Atari Bigby is the leading rusher. And the starter was KD Smith, but he was injured for most of the season. We're also going to go over award winners. And we will go through all of the bowl games leading up to the national title game. UCF really likes to get their fullback involved in the offense. And you'll see that in the game today. Jed Murphy led their team with 920 yard, 21 yards receiving, 9 touchdowns. Doug Thompson also had 8 touchdowns. So they distribute the ball to all of their playmakers pretty decently. The offensive line is a little weak. As you see, they have allowed 13 sacks for Goodson Ohegbulam. That's a name. Chad Masco led the team in tackles with 80, 16 for a loss, 4 sacks, 1 pick. And they have Rashad Genty, senior defensive end, led the team with 7 sacks. You'll see him and Masco make plenty of plays today. Not a whole lot of sacks for their team, not a whole lot of sacks for our team as well. We haven't got a pass rusher to really get this defense in top 10 in the nation. Uh, the pass defense has struggled a little bit during some big games against Auburn, against some really terrible quarterbacks, really. Brandon Sumner is no joke, though. He's a really good quarterback. Redshirt senior. I believe he has 29 touchdowns on the season. If the O-line can protect Sumner, the Knights will have a really good passing day. See Masco had a safety on the season. Matt Prater, redshirt junior, is their kicker. He won the best kicker of the year award, Lou Groza Award. He was 35 of 47 for field goal attempts, a long of 55, and he missed one extra point. Let's get into the bowl games. First bowl game, Southern Miss beats number 25, North Texas. And Louisville absolutely destroys Western Michigan, 58 to 7. Big mismatch there and the GMAC Bowl. Tangerine Bowl, Miami of Ohio taking on the Tar Heels and North Carolina wins it in overtime 30 to 24. Oregon State versus Colorado State in the Nevada Bowl and Colorado State pulls off the win 24 to 10. UTEP versus UAB in the Hawaii Bowl. UAB wins that one easily 24 to 9. They were 9 and 4 on the season. Number 9, Marshall taking on Mid-Tennessee State, and that is an easy win for the Thundering Herd in the Motor City Bowl, 28-10. Marshall finishes the year 11-2. Boston College taking on the Oregon Ducks, and Boston College beats them 35-16 in the Insight.com Bowl in Phoenix, Arizona. Both teams finish 9-4 on the year. Tulane versus Kansas, and Kansas wins 17-7. They improve to 8-5 on the year, winning the Houston Bowl. Gamecocks taking on Kansas State and Bill Snyder, and they win it 31-17. USC versus Colorado. USC pulls it off 27-22, taking down number 14, Colorado. Oklahoma versus Michigan. And Oklahoma wins that one easily in the Alamo Bowl, 30-13. to They win 10 games on the year. NC State beats Arkansas in the Queen City Bowl, 31-26. BYU taking on TCU in the Seattle Bowl. And BYU comes away with a win, 21-17. They improve to 9-4. Kent State versus LSU. And Kent State Golden Flashes beat the Tigers in the Music City Bowl 35-30. What an upset. Boise State taking on ECU. Boise State ranked 23rd in the country, and they win 38-7, finishing 10-3 on the year. Fighting Illini beats Stanford 27-20. Louisiana Tech taking on Fresno State. Battle of the Bulldogs, and Fresno State wins it 47-17. Not even close in the Silicon Valley Bowl. UNLV beats Memphis 17-6. They improved to 9-3 on the year. Georgia versus Maryland. Maryland wins that one easily 35-16 in the Peach Bowl. Utah loses to Pittsburgh 18-13. 
Auburn versus Purdue, number 15 versus number 19, and the Tigers win it 42 to 21. Very easy victory. They improved to 10 and 3. Tennessee versus Nebraska, and Nebraska almost hangs 50 on the Volunteers. They finish 11 and 3 on the season. Virginia Tech loses to the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets 30 to 23. Georgia Tech finishes 9 and 4, and Florida upsets number 13 Ohio State 35 to 23. Rose Bowl Classic, Minnesota beats number 11 Washington 28-14. Minnesota finished 11-2. Fiesta Bowl, this is the game of the week besides the national championship game. Texas has Vince Young, and he could not win it. Miami wins 34-33. They finished 12-1 on the season. They were Big East champs. Fiesta Bowl victory for the Hurricanes. Syracuse versus number 2 Florida State. Let's see who wins the Sugar Bowl. And Florida State won that easily, 41-21. to And they got snubbed for the national title game. If you look at the rankings, Ken Topps won the Heisman and Offensive MVP. Reggie Doyle, freshman quarterback for Oklahoma. We saw him early in the season. He won best quarterback. Vince Young came in second. Ben Roethlisberger third. And Brandon Sumner, who we get to face next, came in fourth. Patrick Dosh, we also faced him. We faced four of the five quarterbacks on this list. Best running back, James Buchanan for Florida State. He won that. He ran for over 1,500 yards. A soft, couple sophomores on here. Darren Sproles came in fifth. Senior halfback for Kansas State. Antoine Sharp won Best Wide Receiver Award. And we're about to see Jed Murphy here as well. Sophomore receiver for UCF. Trey Freifogel, Ole Miss got on there, number five. Best O-line, nobody for us. Best or Defensive MVP, Holodi Nada wins that award, 17 sacks. That is insane for a defensive tackle. Adam Carricker got third place, Rashad Thomas fourth, Chad Sievers fifth. Holodi Nada also won best defensive lineman. He forced five fumbles on the season. Best linebacker goes to Rashad Thomas out of Texas. 114 tackles, four sacks, two fumbles recovered, and two interceptions for the Red Shirts senior. Matt Roth gets third. Jim McGowan fourth. Chad Sievers fifth. Best DB, Bryant McFadden out of Florida State. He had eight interceptions. George Tyler got second. Not bad for a true freshman. Seven interceptions on the season. Bobby Carpenter got four. Slovakia Griffith finishes strong in his senior season with seven interceptions, 14 deflections. And Matt Prater won the Lou Groza Award, best kicker in the nation. Another familiar face on there, Mike Nugent and Sean Sweezum. And UCF's coach won Coach of the Year. Ralph Kress came up just short. If we had won that game in Auburn, we would have won Coach of the Year. All-Americans. See if we have anybody on the first team here. See Callum Winslow Jr. One got on there for tight end. Haloti Nada, Bobby Carpenter, and George Tyler, true freshman, gets first team All-American honors. That is an unbelievable feat. Vince Young gets on the second team. Seven rushing touchdowns, 24 passing. John Pena gets second team All-American at tight end for the Bulldogs. He had five touchdowns this season. See big Vince Wilfork on there from Miami. And Slovakia Griffith gets second team All-American for corner. It really doesn't get any better than this. The prize national championships at stake in this game being played at the Orange Bowl. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Central Florida Golden Knights and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Hi, everybody, and welcome to what looks to be an exciting bowl game. I'm Brad Nessler, along with my partners Lee Corso and Kirk Street, ready to bring you all of the intense football action. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Mississippi State is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. I disagree, and I'm going to tell you why. 
Mississippi State is in trouble here defensively. I agree this will be a close game, but I think their inability to slow down this passing game will be the difference today. Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game, so let's get down to the field where they're waiting for the coin toss. Strap yourselves in, folks, for an instant classic here in Pro Players Stadium as we kick off the national championship game. Number one, Mississippi State taking on number three, UCF, as Atari Bigby returns the opening kickoff to the 19-yard line. Brandon Sumner will take over at quarterback here, and he's going to go quarterback draw right up the middle. Stiff arms, hurdles a man, finally taken down at the 38-yard line. Biggest run on the season for Brandon Sumner. The red shirt senior quarterback and throws off his back foot and that catch was made by Joey William junior fullback. Second and five Sumner goes right side this time to Atari Bigby and he's taken down two yards shy of the first down. Atari Bigby is a red shirt junior halfback. Third and three for Sumner. Avoiding the pressure throwing left side and that was caught by Doug Thompson sophomore wide receiver and he does pick up the first down. Sumner looking to throw it again here over the middle caught by Atari Bigby catching it out of the backfield down to Mississippi State's 39 yard line another first down for the Knights Sumner dropping back rolling out right side goes over the middle and that is a tight end Ellis Chase redshirt freshman making the catch second and three Sumner wants it all here in the end zone and he overthrows his intended target George Tyler on the coverage. Third and three. Summer's going to go right side, and that pass is dropped by Atari Bigby. And that'll send on Matt Prater for a long field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is right down the center. He has a heck of a leg on him. Nine play, 50 yard drive, ends in a field goal. Ken Tops, the Heisman winner, takes over on offense, and he is using his electric skills out in the open field here. Juking a man out, still going past the 30 all the way down to UCF's 28-yard line. Just an electrifying run for Ken Tops. Unbelievable talent, and he's going to go play action here. Scanning the field. Nobody's getting open. He finally finds Jose Jefferson on the left sideline for a pickup of about seven yards. Mississippi State, eighth in the country for offense, 407 yards per game. And Nord breaks the tackle there. He's in the open field, picks up the first down, down to the 16-yard line. A lot of weapons on this Bulldog offense. They are first in the nation in red, sco red zone scoring excuse me, at 94%. And Ken Tops is taken down for the sack. And that was Rashad Genty, senior defensive end, coming through. Bulldogs also first on third down percentage, 55%. And Tops is looking for somebody. He's got Jose Jefferson wide open, but he overthrew him. And that'll send on sophomore kicker Mike Randall to try to tie this ball game up. The kick is up, and it is good. 3-3 three to three is the score here in the first quarter. And Brandon Sumner takes back over for the Knights. And he hits Chase on the right side, and he picks up another first down. UCF having no trouble throwing the ball downfield today. Picking up a lot of easy first downs as Joey Williams just gets stuffed for no gain there. That was Antoine Finch on the tackle. Second and nine. Sumner is sacked by Desmond Mikloff. Freshman defensive tackle coming through the center of that offensive line. Third and 12 now. Sumner pressured. Throws left side. Caught by Huggins. That was Luther Huggins. Redshirt senior wide receiver getting a clutch first down. He did injure himself, but he will return. And here's Brandon Sumner trying to do quarterback draw once again. Gabe Wallace having none of that, though. Loss of one on the play. That'll end the first quarter. And we are all knotted up at three apiece. Second and ten. Atari Bigby gets the off tackle. Carey hurdles the man, and he picks up a first down. Quality run there from Atari. Just hurdles over Slovakia Griffith. Second and ten, though. And Sumner is sacked again. Second sack of the game. And that was number 53, Craig Walton on the sack. Sumner pressured, goes left side on the sideline. And that is caught by sophomore receiver Doug Thompson for the first down. Sumner just picking apart this Bulldog secondary. Thompson, 841 yards receiving on 64 catches with eight touchdowns on the year. And Atari Bigby just got rocked. That was Slovakia Griffith who laid the boomstick on him. Huge hit. Sumner under center. 
Throwing it over the middle, caught by Big B, spinning. Taken down two yards shy of the first down. Sumner has three consecutive completions, but it's third and two here. Goes right side to Joey Williams, breaks a tackle, and he escapes through the defenders all the way down to the three yard line. What an amazing effort by the junior fullback, breaking some tackles, wiggling through the defenders to get extra yards. First and goal upcoming for the Knights. Sumner under center, hands it to Big B, and he's gonna get in the end zone. We have our first touchdown of the national championship game, and it comes via Atari Big B right up the gut following Joey William. Gabe Wallace tried to take him down, but was too late. Heisman winner Ken Topps takes over on offense, and there's Norwood picking up six yards on a sweep. Richard Johnson has injured his head on the play. Second and four, Topps under center. Scanning, scrambling, and he finally throws it to John Payne, who makes the catch down to the 44-yard line of UCF. Huge pickup for the sophomore tight end, second team All-American. And Rashard Johnson has a severe concussion, and that is not a good sign for him. As Ken Topps hands it to Fred Reed, and he gets dropped for a loss of two. Senior running back not really making an impact this season at all. Second and 12. Topps looking to throw it again here. Pump fakes, and he's going deep at the five-yard line. Caught by Ray Ray Bivens. Senior wide receiver gets a touchdown in the national title game against the UCF Knights. He just beat the coverage here. Nice pump fake from Ken Topps. And Bivens created a little bit of separation, just as much as he could get, and it was enough. First and 10 now for the Knights. Over the middle of the Huggins, and he picks up eight or nine yards. Third and two. Sumner scrambles up the middle. He's got the first down, picks up three yards. Finally taken down after he gets the first down, though. First and 10. Bigby breaks the tackle and falls over a defender. Picks up six yards over the middle. He's almost got 800 yards rushing on the season. Second and three for Sumner. He's going deep. He's got a man open, and he lays out for the catch. Spectacular catch there by the tight end. Second and nine. He will option it left side this time, and there's Payne. He gets a carry, picking up four yards on the left. Neil Nelson finally took him down. Third and five. Sumner over the middle, intercepted by Neil Nelson. He overthrew his target, and sophomore linebacker Neil Nelson made him pay the price. Bulldogs take over with a minute 22 to go. Let's see if they can get something going here. And Toss is going to scramble, tries to juke a man out, and got laid out. Two yards shy of the first down. He has 59 yards on three carries today. Second and two, under a minute to go now. Option left side, and Tops will get the first down and maybe seven or eight yards. Under center, looking to throw it is Tops, and he's going deep right side. Jose Jefferson makes the catch, still going all the way up to the 21 yard line. Nice run after the catch for the sophomore wide receiver. Tops almost at 200 total yards on the day. Four or five passing. 119 yards and one touchdown. And he's gonna throw it again here. Over the middle, and that is his second touchdown pass of the game. And that is Jose Jefferson getting in there for the score right before the half with only 14 seconds to go. Beat two defenders there. Nice catch and double coverage. 13 seconds to go. The Knights are trying to get something going here. Is Joey William, and he'll pick up a first down. And the Knights will call a timeout. They have time for one more play, and it's a Hail Mary. Sumner goes deep, and he throws it to nobody. And that will be the half. UCF down 17-10 in the national title game, but not for a lack of effort. Their offense has been playing great, minus the one interception, which resulted in a touchdown drive from the Bulldogs. And Matt Prater shows off his leg there as he kicks it through the back of the end zone. Justin Garrett, redshirt freshman, picks up nine yards up the middle for the Bulldogs. Second and one. Tops tries to scramble out, and he is sacked for a big loss. And that was Chad Masco, the redshirt senior outside linebacker, coming up to make the sack. Nor gets a carry, and he does not get the first down. Inches short, the Bulldogs will punt the ball away. 
Knights back on offense. Sumner back there by himself. Goes over the middle, and that should have been caught. Right off the hands of the wide receiver. Third and seven. Clutch situation here, and Sumner finds Wilkins this time. He does not drop it. That is a first down for the Knights. And they're going to continue this drive as they give it to Atari Bigby, who's in the open field, past the 50, all the way down to Mississippi State's 42-yard line. Big-time run for the redshirt junior halfback, who's averaging 9.5 yards per carry. And they give it off to him again. He breaks a tackle. And that was Slovakia Griffith who missed the initial tackle. Gabe Wallace cleaned it up. Second and six. Sumner left side wide open is Doug Thompson, the sophomore wide receiver. Inside the 10-yard line, first and goal for the Knights. What a throw by Brandon Sumner. In the pressure. Look at that pressure from Desmond Mikuloff. He also crushed him after the throw. Great poise in the pocket for Sumner on that pass. Trying to rise or raise his draft stock, rather. And he's going to hand out to Joey William up the middle here, and he goes nowhere, picking up maybe one yard on the run. Second and goal, 340 to go in the third quarter. Open on the left side is Bigby, but he goes nowhere after the catch. Nice tackle by Slovakia Griffith. Three consecutive completions for Sumner, and he's going to look to throw it again here. All day to throw, goes in the corner, and it is caught by Capers. My goodness, perfect throw. And we are all tied up now at 17 apiece as Nord gets a carry, and he only picks up three yards. He has really been a non-factor in the run game so far. Tops in the shotgun, scanning. Nobody's getting open. John Pena finally makes the catch, a couple yards shy of the first down. Offensive line did a pretty decent job on that play, blocking for tops. And here's Norwood up the middle. He gets just enough for the first down, but another short run for Jarius Norwood. First and 10, two minutes to go in the third quarter. Justin Garrett up the middle. He gets seven more yards. Nice run for the redshirt freshman fullback. Second and four, Bryson Davis in the backfield. Tops is sacked and fumbled it, and Chiron King Dives on it. Lucky break for the Bulldogs. That could have been a huge turnover there in Bulldog territory. Third and 13. Scanning the field. Nobody's getting open again, and he is intercepted this time by Chad Masco. Just the sixth interception on the season for Ken Tops, and it's a big one. UCF has all the momentum right now, looking to take the lead late in the third quarter. And here's Sumner going left side. Open is Huggins. And he gets six yards on the left sideline. They have 90 yards passing on the left. Third and three. Play action from Sumner going left side. Overshoots the intended target. Looks like some miscommunication there from the quarterback to the wide receiver. And that'll send on Matt Prater for a 46-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. And he shanks it to the right side. So we're still tied at 17 apiece. Big miss there by Matt Brader. His 13th miss on the season. He's got a big leg, but he is not the most accurate kicker in the world. Second and 10 for the Bulldogs. Back on offense. And Tops is taken down by his face. And that was Johnson. That'll make it third and two, which is a little bit easier to convert than a third and seven play. And Tops will go option up the middle, keeping himself and pick up five yards and another first down. Bulldogs looking to take the lead back here. And Tops is going to scramble right side. He fumbles it again, his second fumble of the game. This time it is a turnover. Lyons scoops it up, and the Knights take back over on offense. Second turnover of the game for the Bulldogs. 18 seconds to go in the third. Here's Sumner, quarterback draw, and he picks up nine yards, almost getting the first down. He's got 25 yards on the ground. And that'll do it for the third quarter, all tied up at 17 apiece. Who wants it more? Who's going to finish strong in this ball game? And there's Wilkins getting a first down, down to the 25 and a half yard line. Knights putting together another solid drive here. First and 10. And Joey William up the middle, fumbles it, and Sumner dives on it. Bulldogs let the quarterback dive on it and recover their own fumble. Second and 12, Atari Bigby up the gut, 
And he gets four yards shy of the first down there. Another nice run for Atari. Third and four. Sumner by himself in the shotgun. Goes left side to Huggins, who was wide open down to the 13-yard line. Another clutch catch for the redshirt senior. Sumner's throwing the ball 32 times today for 206 yards. One touchdown and a pick. And that was a huge tackle for a loss by Neil Nelson. I believe Atari Bigby lost five or six yards on that play. Neil Nelson with 56 tackles on the season. Third and 16. Sumner going right side. Caught by Chase. Well short of the first down. Neil Nelson gets another tackle on the day. And that'll send on Matt Prater for another field goal attempt. The kick is up. And he got that one. He made it look easy there. 11 plays, 42 yards, 2 minutes, 51 second drive. The Bulldogs need to answer here. Here's Fred Reed trying to wiggle through the defenders. And he picks up maybe 5 yards. Second and 4 for Tops. Scrambling right side. Finally hitting Scott Goldberg, who is weaving in and out of defenders, getting into night territory down to the 47 yard line. Great run after the catch for Scott Goldberg who's playing in his final college game. Second and eight. Tops pump fakes. Looking for somebody to get open, waiting. Finally hitting Ray Ray Bivens down at the 31 yard line. Tops doing a great job keeping the play alive with his feet. Here's Justin Garrett on a draw play, running through a couple defenders, picking up three or four yards. Third and six. Tops goes deep to the right side, caught by Jose Jefferson, but he did not get a foot in bounds. Mike Randall will go on for the field goal attempt. The kick is up, and he squeaks it through the uprights. We are tied at 20 now. Eight play, 51 yard drive, taking two minutes off the clock. Sumner, quarterback draw, and Neil Nelson coming through unblocked, getting his 10th tackle of the ball game. And that was a big one for a loss of three or four. UCF going no huddle here. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And Sumner throws it away. I mean, it was deflected by Desmond Mikuloff, who was right in the face of Brandon Sumner, who has thrown the ball 35 times today. Chase in motion. Sumner goes left side and deflected away, almost intercepted by Donnie Kramer. And that will bring on the punting unit with Jarius Norwood back deep to return on fourth and 13. Very short punt to the side. And Jarius Norwood muffed it. And UCF will dive on it at their 41-yard line. Huge blunder right there by the redshirt junior halfback. Unbelievable. First and 10. Sumner going left side. Caught by Huggins. He was wide open. George Tyler did not get over there in time. Beautiful pass by Sumner once again. And he will probably be starting on Sundays this time next year. Sumner going right side this time. And Capers lays out for it inside the 10-yard line. Another beautiful touch pass by Brandon Sumner. I just can't say it enough. He is a really good quarterback. And they're still going no huddle here. Trying to draw the defense off sides here on first and goal. 120 to go in the ball game. Sumner's going to throw it left side, caught by Thompson. Sophomore receiver getting very close to the end zone at the one-yard line. Second and goal upcoming. Still going no huddle. Sumner in the backfield by himself. And he throws it left side, wide open. Doug Thompson again. And this time it's a touchdown for the Knights. He beat Donnie Kramer, I believe, on a quick slant route. Sumner even threw it off his back foot with Gabe Wallace in his face. Norwood back deep to return the kickoff. And that is five yards deep in the end zone. And he's going to take it out anyway. And he does not go far down at the 12-yard line. Nice tackle in the open field. Ken Tops, the Heisman winner, has one minute to do something. And he breaks the tackle, escapes the defenders, picks up a first down. 13-yard pickup on first down there. What a huge play. Great athleticism shown on that play. Second and 10 now. Tops scrambling right side. He's got Scott Goldberg wide open past midfield, past the 40, past the 20, all the way down to the 15-yard line. Huge pickup. And they're already giving Brandon Sumner the player of the game. But hold on, folks. This game is not over yet. Tops over 200 passing yards. 
It's going to take off left side here, waiting for someone to get open. Finally hitting John Pena down to the two-yard line. Huge first down. And the middle and right side of this field has been torched by the Bulldogs' passing game. First and goal, Bryson Davis up the middle. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And we need an extra point here to tie this ball game back up. And here's Mike Randall on for the extra point. The kick is up and good. We are all tied up. Five play, 88 yard drive. Only took 45 seconds. Sumner still has a little bit of time here. He goes left side. Wide open is Thompson again. He has been gashing this defense. 90 yards on six catches. First and 10. Left side and that is not caught. Looked like it bounced off the back side of the receiver. Sumner has time for one more play here. And he's going deep, and it was caught and dropped by the receiver, and we are going to overtime. The score is knotted up at 27 apiece. And UCF wins the coin toss, and that means the Bulldogs will go on offense first in the first overtime. Tops under center, they're gonna go option right side. Pitches it out, and as Fred Reed, he picks up the first down and more, 12 yard pickup. For the redshirt senior halfback. It's only got 80 yards on the season on 20 carries. Norwood up the middle. Nine-yard pickup. Got into that second level. He's only got 34 yards today. He's only touched the ball six times. Justin Garrett gets a carry. Breaks the tackle. Walks into the end zone. And we have a touchdown here in the first overtime. That means the Knights will have to answer back with a touchdown to tie it back up to go to a second overtime. Sumner looking to throw it, goes right side. Joey William, he only gets one yard on the reception. Bernard Moreno on the tackle. Third and nine. Sumner over the middle, nice catch by Huggins. I don't know how he fit that pass through there. Neil Nelson almost had another pick. Sumner looking to throw again, goes right side. Bigby is stuffed for a loss of two. Antoine Finch, nice tackle for a loss there. Second and 11. Play action from Sumner. Right side caught by a Big B somehow. Taking down a yard shy of the first down in triple coverage. Chase in motion to the right. Play action again from Sumner going right side and it is caught by Murphy. Jed Murphy, the sophomore wide receiver, gets a touchdown today, tying this ball game up. Unbelievable. Bernard Moreno almost had the interception here. Watch how close this pass is being picked off. Nice pressure by Desmond Mikuloff up the middle as well. And that will end the first overtime. All tied up at 34 still. Knights back on offense. Here's Bigby in the open field. Picks up four yards as Moreno took him down. Bigby has 48 yards on eight carries today. Second and six. Sumner. Left side corner route and that is missed. But there is holding anyway. That'll back him up to second and 15. Second and 16, excuse me. Sumner by himself in the backfield. Goes left side. Almost intercepted by George Tyler. Very dangerous throw in triple coverage. And the receiver paid the price for that big hit. Third and 16. And that pass went nowhere. So they will have to send on Matt Prater for a three-point try here. The kick is up and right down the center. It is now 37 to 34. Bulldogs need a field goal to tie or a touchdown to win. Top scrambling right side. And he's got Scott Goldberg wide open who gets it inside the 10 yard line. First and goal upcoming from the eight yard line. Goldberg now over the 100 yard receiving mark with 101 yards. First and goal. Tops pitches it back and Justin Garrett loses it. Luckily he dove on it. And that could have been the game right there. Second and goal, tops, pump fakes, and he is sacked once again, losing six yards. And that was Rashad Genty, senior defensive end, getting his second sack of the ball game. Third and goal for tops, scanning the field, scrambling left side, waiting for someone to get open. He finally just takes off inside the 10, down to the five yard line, not getting the first down. And he is over 350 total yards today. Mike Randall will come on to tie this ball game at 37. Kick is up and it is right down the center. So we are going into a third overtime. And in the third overtime, if you score a touchdown, you need to go for two points. Here's Ken Tops pitching out to Norwood in the open field. 
And what a great open field tackle by the safety, taking down the speedy Jarius Norwood. First and 10 from the 12. Tops, options out left side. He's going to keep it himself and walk into the end zone. Touchdown number one, Mississippi State Bulldogs. And they take the lead here. Their defense will have to come through and get a stop for the win. Well, let's see if the Bulldogs can't convert the two-point conversion here first. Tops under center. Looks to throw it to Brandon Jensen, and the freshman tight end drops it. That could cost them the ball game. Here's Atari Bigby going up the middle. Breaks it out left side, and they will give him the first down there. What a run from Atari Bigby. Bigby gets another carry. Breaks the tackle of George Tyler in the open field. Up close to the first down marker. He now has 68 yards on 10 carries. Second and inches. Joey William gets the carry, and he reaches over the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. And they could win it here with the two-point conversion. What an effort from Joey William dragging a defensive lineman into the end zone. For the win, Sumner goes left side, and that is deflected away by Bernard Moreno. Clutch deflection from the freshman defensive back. Fourth overtime now. Sumner goes left side. Murphy with a nice catch down to the 12 yard line. Murphy was non existent in the first half of the ball game. Second half, he came alive and now in overtime. And there's Chase, the tight end, getting a touchdown for the red shirt freshman. And they're going to have to go for two again here. Clutch throw from Sumner wide open was Ellis Chase. And Atari Bigby gets the handoff, and Desmond Mikuloff stops him. He does not convert the two-point conversion. Tops needs a touchdown and two points to win this game, and he options right side. Nifty spin move there, picking up six yards. Second and four. Norwood up the middle, and he got clobbered. Just a yard shy of the first down. What a hit by the safety. Third and one option left side. Tops. And he couldn't pitch it. If he did, that was a touchdown for Norwood. But it is a first and goal nonetheless. Tops at 383 total yards for this game. Tops tried to go up the middle. He was caught on his own halfback and sacked. That is the fourth time this game he has been sacked. Second and goal. Tops scrambling right side. Throwing into the end zone. Caught by Jose Jefferson. The sophomore wide receiver gets his second touchdown catch of the game. And it's a huge one. We're all tied up. And we need a two-point conversion to win the national championship game here in Miami, Florida in the Orange Bowl. Tops scrambling right side. He's going to take it himself, and he is in the end zone. Two points for the Bulldogs. And they are national champions, 51-49, to four overtime thriller. Unbelievable ball game. This is an instant classic. Bulldogs finish off the season 13-1, and, and they carry head coach Ralph Kress off the field on their shoulders along with the crystal ball. Let's take a look at the stats. 463 yards for the Knights, 488 for the Bulldogs, 348 passing for Brandon Sumner, sacked twice. Bulldogs finally able to get some pressure on a quarterback this season. Three turnovers in the game, only two punts. Knights led in time of possession. And look at that box score. Four overtimes. We did not score in the third quarter. But it was a very exciting game. It was probably one of the most fun games I have ever played in any college football game. It was back and forth. Neither team wanted to lose that game. Sumner threw the ball 53 times for four touchdowns. 64 completion percentage. Atari Bigby had 68 yards on 10 carries with a touchdown. Joey William also had a rushing touchdown. Bigby led the team with seven catches. See Doug Thompson with six for 90 yards. Luther Huggins, redshirt senior, had 76 yards catching. Ellis Chase, redshirt freshman tight end, had 64 yards. And all the touchdown passes were to four different receivers. Two sacks allowed by their offensive line. Anthony Willis led their team in tackles. Chad Masco and Rashad Genty, both seniors, led their teams in tackles for a loss. Genty had two sacks. Masco had one and an interception. He also had a fumble recovery, I believe. Nope, that was Trent Lyons who had the fumble recovery. 
What an unbelievable game. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this ball game and where this ranks in football games that you've ever seen. Kent Tops, 12 of 18, 283 yards, three touchdowns, one pick, 66 completion percentage, sacked four times, a long of 60, 109 yards rushing, one touchdown. Not a bad day at the office for the Heisman Memorial Trophy winner, Ken Tops. Touchdown runs for Justin Garrett and Bryson Davis. Three fumbles for Ken Tops, lost one of them, I believe. Jose Jefferson had four catches, 74 yards. That was his breakout performance. Ray Ray Bivens, two catches, 62 yards on a touchdown. Scott Goldberg had three catches, and they were all big. 101 yards receiving for him. Scott Richard and Tyrone King allowed sacks today. Neil Nelson had 11 tackles. Donnie Kramer with seven. Bernard Moreno with five. George Tyler and Gabe Wallace both had four. So Slovakia Griffith, Gabe Wallace, Fred Reed, Ray Ray Bivens, Scott Goldberg, Rusty Holloway, all these seniors come out of here with a national championship in their final collegiate football game. Just an unbelievable game. Four overtimes. Back and forth. Mike Randall, 3 of 3. Long of 45 today. He was clutch. And there is our Orange Bowl trophy. We will add that gladly to our trophy case. And the BCS National Championship trophy right there, the Crystal Football. And this is the first national title in Mississippi State Bulldog history. And it only took us three seasons to get it. Unbelievable season. I will see you guys sometime next week with the offseason. Take it easy, guys.